Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you five ideas for starting your patch with my production template and here is a first one just load a MIDI file uh, that you recorded before to Squinkylabs SICK++ and just click start then you should probably click at loop subrange and uh, let's connect our oscillator to this sequencer through the rewin quantizer let's connect our output to the mixer Okay, it starts sequencing now and using that method of starting uh, your patch is a likely get instant influence for your further uh, actions. Uh, let's add a kick for example to control uh, some rhythmic things about MIDI synchronization with Wisvirac okay it's just playing and you can add uh, some new sequences modulate controls knobs adding effects and so on everything that inspires you a lot you could also change a clock rate in sec plus plus and also change uh, the notes on quantizer uh, like this you just change a sequence that was in midi file and that you can connect a gate sequencer to the trigger input of plots and start doing some rhythmic things that not uh, included in a MIDI file. Okay, the next idea that you can use to start your own patch with this template is a rhythmical idea just tap some rhythms on gate sequencer it's very easy to use and just take another oscillator and sampler of course by the way in last version of my template I use updated Lomas sampler it's purely awesome thing also very CPU friendly also you can use edit page function on Lomas gate sequencer to increase your steps for 32 64 and so on let's add energy also tap Sam rhythm here and just make a um, sketch based on rhythmic things Okay, the next way to make some ideas from scratch is using nice VSV random module. It can be synchronized by inputting a trigger from clock, divider, gate sequencer, whatever you like. Just take smooth output or step output 
then you could pass it through the quantizer and it third to decrease amount of random modulation and connect it to the one volt per octave oscillator input and it's pretty awesome chance to get some uh, nice uh, musical ideas from random modules. It could also be uh, catching a happy accidents. Let's take another random instance and pass it through the ring quantizer and adding to plots. legato sounds with using from different um, gate sequencer for your oscillator and different clock or divider for random voltage, CV voltage. Be careful with Chord mode of plots because it uh, can be a bit detuned by inner harmonics and so on. So I just switch it to the first one, for example. Ring quantizer is awesome tool that has octave switcher and also synths, which will be useful in my next series tutorial about arranging. Let's choose A minor scale. So, like that, you can get some uh, IDM-ish result with using a VCV render module from your scratch. Okay, the next thing you can use from start it's using um, offsets to make some uh, current drones for making some chords from your chosen oscillators and then you connect uh, gates to it and make it more musical connect inputs to the offsets and so on I choose uh, At an inverter from Little Utilities. It's pretty awesome and has a switch from volts to semitones. Just connect outputs from this offset to inputs in the quantizer and you will never be out from your scale just turning down unnecessary drone oscillators okay let's start switching our semitones offsets to get a chord that inspires you 
for starting your patch from scratch. And let's take Bok Audio EDDR sequencer. Let's fire it using a Ziziki dip expander divider. Let's choose some two steps and let's inject it into the first offset. This offset tools pass uh, above signal to below inputs, so you need uh, pass uh, to the second one and third one uh, different sequencers to get uh, different sequences, sorry. Now let's choose another EDDR sequencer to make different line for second oscillator. And you can use also a SIG++ and everything plays in the scale. Let's turn down our BPM and add effects. So you already get uh, the themes that you will use to the building this patch. The last thing I want to show you is about just using uh, modulations to start Inspires by Visvirec. And I take a um, PD array and fire it by um, phase input from ZZK offsets. You can draw the envelope you like, different shapes, different forms, different uh, size. This model is just awesome. You can use a smoothed output to get rid of those fails and rises, and here I just take another divider expander from ZZK and put it next to the force, make it something fancy like third divider. And now we get a chance to make something uh, to improve our sound, scratchy sound. And that modulation will help us to continue build it in the future to make a less thing in our arrangement phase and so on. So all of these methods for me are the pure creativity that I can use in building my patches and I hope you will like those techniques. You can get this template with this sketch patch on my Patreon. As always, 
and in the next video I will try to show you some of my thoughts on arrangement in Visible Rec and hopefully I will continue uh, with this exactly patch and together we could improve it in completely track to record then and arrange it in a DAW as a WAV file multitrack for example. So thank you for watching guys and see you next time.